Manchester United 2, Arsenal 1, Man United 2nd in the Premier League. But that was another atrocious game at Old Trafford. The season really is dwindling away after the West Brom game. That's another one. Let's get into the match review. So Arsene Wenger, his final game at Old Trafford as Arsenal manager, ended in defeat. What a shame. He did get a standing ovation, which was the correct and deserved thing to happen before the game. But the match itself was a massive, massive damp squib. Arsenal resting quite a few of their first team players because they got Atletico Madrid on Thursday. United, we really don't care about Premier League games anymore. You can see that the players are mentally not there. It's the exact same type of performance that we saw against West Brom. Obviously, the result was different thanks to Mauro and Fellaini's ridiculous backwards header in the 91st minute. But United really just look on holiday right now because we're not, we can't win the Premier League. We're securing the top four. There's effectively nothing to chase in the Premier League anymore other than finishing second, third or fourth for pride. And that's a bit of an issue because attitude has been a problem for United this season on more than one occasion. That stems down from the manager... And the occasion itself, the players really should have been up for that game more. But ultimately it was enough because it was a 2-1. But this season really is just dwindling off. The FA Cup is obviously different. That was where we saw United play with tenacity and intensity in that second half against Spurs. That's why we're in the FA Cup final against Chelsea. And no doubt we'll play completely differently there on the FA Cup final day than we're playing against Arsenal here. But today was an easy opportunity to absolutely pump Arsenal. And United just did not go for it. United really were not at the races at any point in that game, really. You know, we were comfortable, but we just didn't play that well. Um, ultimately, it proved to be enough. But for critics of Jose Mourinho and his style of football that he plays at United, that today won't <laughs> make the arguments for it any easier because it was pretty boring football. And that was just to do with the tempo that United had. Like They got Jack in midfield, who was pony again for the majority of the game. But United's midfield didn't dominate and control the game where they should. Mkhitaryan, he scored, didn't celebrate. Don't know why he didn't celebrate. Didn't exactly have the best of time at United, did he? Uh, but he didn't celebrate. But it didn't matter because Fellaini came up right at the end. The man who has cropped up with quite a few goals this season prior to him getting injured. He got four goals in his first nine games this season. But Fellaini is what Fellaini does. I do think he should and will be sold this summer. But an important goal for him, I suppose. But for me, a damp squib of a game. It could have been so much more. Wenger's last game. It was a nice little memento that Fergie gave to Wenger before the match. We've had so many classic games against Arsenal. It would have been lovely to end in a classic game. But it was far from a classic game. We did get six points against Arsenal in the Premier League this season. One away, 3-1. One at home, 2-1. But that was a poor game. And United fans, there's going to be loads of frustrated comments. I'm frustrated you guys in the comments. I know that. But let me know really what you think about that game. Who was your man of the match? Let me know in the comments as always. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's 